Hey everybody, Higher Level here, trying to show you guys how to set up Fussbot. Now Fussbot is great for YouTube, um, it's a lot like Nightbot, but it's got a couple more features and stuff. And the reason why I'm doing this video is because I wasn't able to find anything to help me when I started putting it together. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go over here into settings, alright? And the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and check right here where it says status of streamer login. Mine's already authenticated, but what you need to do is just go to new authentication, all right? And then you log in with your account, and from there that'll make sure that that's authenticated. Now, status of bot login. This is if you want your bot to have a different name, okay? Now, in order to do that, just go in here. Oh, I actually have to authenticate this one. Ha <laughs> ha. We're going to use that one. I already have everything set up, and we'll go ahead and allow it. All right, so now that is able to manage for while I'm streaming. Same with the bot. For the bot, you want to go ahead and make a second one. Uh, and you can easily do that and add it into all your stuff so that you can have that person or that uh, YouTube login be your bot login. Like mine is set up for chaos because we're part of the chaos clan here, and that's the easiest way to do it, okay? Now, if you have a secondary YouTube gaming log login or anything like that, you can go ahead and put that one in and make sure that you have it enabled. And if you have a Patreon supporter key, you can put that in, okay? But just to start out, these are the two things that you want to do first, all right? Now, let's go ahead and go down this list right here. We can check out the connections. If you have Streamlabs, you can have that set up. The only issue is you can only set up your Streamlabs if, Streamlabs if you have a Patreon site as well. Same with Spotify, all right? I, have th I don't have that, so you can't do it. Going into the spam protection. Now, in this, you can go ahead and put in here whatever it is you want. As far as the rule only applies for messages longer than so many characters, with the excessive caps and stuff like that. Um, bad words or phrases that you don't want sent on there. And you can actually have different things to where you can just automatically ban the viewer. Fussbot will automatically ban them for you. Okay? Um, and all you do is you put in the word right here that you want to... Uh, have blacklisted and everything like that all right custom text that's if you want to do raffles polls coins auctions things like that all right same with more for cues and bets and then there's some miscellaneous stuff all right so next thing you want to do is you want to go over here to your dashboard now this will tell you that your bot has been authenticated your streamer account has been authenticated and you have the gaming api available all right. Now, once you are actually connected to a live stream, you'll go ahead and click this connect. It'll go ahead and connect you to your thing. And then you can take out this right here, which is the live stream panel. And you can see everything happening there. All right. Now, going into control, this is your actual chat that's actually happening on your account. All right. But you can go over here to viewers and see how long people have actually watched your stream. From there, you can actually grant them extra coins. Like this is me just for fun and stuff like that. I can grant myself as many coins as I want and hit OK. So if you have somebody that's really helping out in the chat and everything, you can kind of boost their coin levels. All right. Going into auctions, if you're doing an auction or anything like that, you're allowed to put that information in there. Same with a giveaway. If you're doing a poll, a bet, a queue, or a countdown. So... Going into configuration for coins, here you can go ahead and show that, you know, okay, so my guys get 10 coins every 10 minutes. You can actually boost that up. They get 30 coins every 10 minutes. Make sure you hit that save button, okay? You can name your currency, mine are chaos coins, and then the short form currency is just coins, right? You can enable a reward amount, so you can reward people some coins. You can do this command the coins command to check their balance or you can use the give command to transfer those coins then you can set this right here for the allow of the balance check so that they're not spamming your chat all over the place and stuff you can ch do make it so that it's only every five minutes they're allowed to do it okay and then sponsors and mods get five times more coins viewers get a bonus for subscribing, super chat gets how many per dollar, blah, 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 things like that, all right? So you can kind of change all that kind of stuff up, and then we'll get into more of that later. If you want to put in a rank system, so where you have your mods, you have your big heavy guys that are always there, you've, and then you've, you can set up all those ranks and stuff like that, all right? Commands, this is a big one. 
if you want to use some commands like these ones that I have, if you want to connect, join the Discord, I just have that set in there. So you can go in here and go to a new command, put in whatever command it is that you want. So usually it's going to be an exclamation point and, oh, I'll just show you one of the ones I already have on there, right? So you can edit these ones. So my Discord one, the return text is going to be join the Discord at this location and stuff. You're going to have timeouts, user ranks, things like that. All right. I also have a bunch of them on here for all the other people that I play with. Linking you to their YouTube channel as well. All right. Uh, I don't use Spotify right now, so I'm not going to go over it. Announcements. These are the ones that your fuss bot is going to just throw out there every once in a while, usually on a timer. Um, like, don't forget to hit that like button. Chaos loves to see those likes. And you can change all that stuff. You know, your supporter stream, um, whatever that website is and stuff like that. You can have those set in there. Next thing you're going to want to do, though, is you're going to want to check your announcement settings. Time between announcements per minute. I have mine set for seven minutes apart. And minimum messages between the announcements. There has to be four other messages in between for them to actually work. All right. And then image announcements if you actually have images going through. So you're going to want to make sure that you check those announcement settings or else it's just going to keep spamming. Now they also have bank heist, arenas, gambling, mini games, and F. I don't know what that is. But for the gambling, you can actually enable the flip coin gambling like I have. And then you can change the command to whatever you want it to be. I just kept it at flip flip coin, but you can also change the text. Like mine will say, whoever it is, if you actually won, winner, winner, you got so many chaos coins dinner. And then if you don't, it's going to be an, uh, oh no, you suck again. And you can actually make it a max so that they can only spend so much on each flip coin. All right. Now we can go into the supporters supporters everything is only f in this tab is only for patreon supporters so if you don't have a patreon page you can't really do anything with the supporters like i don't have one but i'm going to go over some of this stuff anyways this is where you can set up your streamlabs information the settings for a loyalty shop you can do a loyalty shop do purchases and quotes and things like that all right and again back to the settings page and all of that so what i'm going to do real quick just so you guys can see exactly what i'm talking about about this page is I'm going to go and do a live stream just for a couple of seconds, just to show you what exactly um, it looks like. All right. So if I go here, I'm on a different monitor. Sorry. Going into, no, I don't want the creator studio. I want to go to my channel. Why isn't there? It is. All right. So I'm gonna go to my channel. I'm gonna pull up my OBS real quick and I'm going to have it start to stream. All right. I'm not going to have it post, I'm just going to start the streaming and stuff like that so that you can see what it looks like when you connect to it. All right, I'm trying to refresh this here. There it is. There's my stream. So I want to take this and a lot of times you're going to want to copy it through. Okay, I'm going to need to get the actual stream thing. I haven't been able to show but haven't been able to do it to connect where it just automatically connects. It says no existing live stream chat collect, connect selected, connect via stream URL. Then you can put in your URL right there. All right, hit connect. And now you can pull up this live stream panel. And this is what I like. All right, because I have this one set up on my bottom computer. Um, so you can see all the chat that's happening. You can see who your latest subscribers are, any notifications if people give you money or anything like that, your current overlay, and then you can actually see how many people are currently viewing, any new subscribers, this stream, your total stream time, current chat delay, everything like that. All right. This is what I love about it because you have this live stream panel. Everything is right there. You don't have to go in and pop out your chat so that you can still talk to your people or anything like that. This thing is great to have with it. So that is everything that I have. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect that. All right. But that is everything that I know, everything that I can show about Fussbot. If you like it, please give me a like. If not, that's perfectly fine. I'm not okay. I mean, I'm okay with it. But uh, if you have any other suggestions, thoughts, concerns, anything else you want me to cover, please let me know. And I will definitely try to cover them. All right. Thanks a lot.